Hey guys, it's Megan and today I am so excited because I just got back from Ulta and got the Jaclyn Cosmetics products I wanted to get and I got there like an hour before the store opened. Thankfully, didn't have to stand outside in line until like 15 minutes before the store opened. And I happened to be the first person in line. I saw someone go up to the store thinking they were getting in line. I think they were like an employee or something that went in, but I just decided I got up to get there so early that I would just stand out there and be like sure that I would get the products I wanted because the colors that I wanted, um, some of them sold out online like already and this launch came out today at Ulta. I am going to film, edit, and upload this today. And um, so the shades that I wanted were sold out online and I knew that this store in particular had them cause I called ahead and they couldn't like hold anything but they could at least tell me they would have the inventory. And from what I could tell, there was only two pieces of each item, at least in the display. They might restock it, but I really don't know. So I'm very glad that I was able to get all the items that I wanted and I got three pieces. So I picked out one of the blush and bronzer duos, one of the, um, what is this called? Luminous powder and one of the highlighters. So I have all my makeup except for like my cheek products done. So of course I wanted to do that with you guys and um, let's just break into them because I obviously have never seen them in person up to this moment and so I am super excited about the bronze and blushing duo and I picked the shade lilac love and top tan. So the packaging is like a rose gold and this is pretty large so i'm excited to see how much product you get oh my gosh so it's a black very reflective plastic oh my gosh with like the j and rose gold Ooh. so mine has a little bit oops mine has a little bit of kick up in it like around the edges but that should be fine just going to wipe that away. This thing keeps closing on me. Okay. So here is Lilac Love and Top Tan. So these are just perfect, like neutral, slightly cool tone shades for fair skin. And so the um, lid like latches, but is it? Yeah, I guess it's like magnetic. It like leans back, but it doesn't like stay there. And honestly, with the way that it's angled, it's very easy to see. So I think I'm going to start with this, but I want to look at the other products first. And this is my first Jaclyn Cosmetics like face product. I bought the infamous <laughs> lipsticks and I still have mine, but I don't use them. I just keep them in the box. But um, I hope she tries these again because I love the colors, um, but I've never tried her highlighters or anything like that. So I'm super excited about this. So I also picked out the shade Iced for the highlighter. This one seemed like it was best for like pale skin. <laughs> And this has rose gold packaging with the raised J. So this is stunning. And again, oh, so this mirror actually stays like put. I don't know, maybe mine on this is just a little loose or something, but this is iced and it is like a gorgeous gold champagne. Oh my God, that is stunning. And again, very easy to open and close. And I love that angle to it because it, it perfectly like frames your face and it's a very, very nice mirror. So I am super stoked about that. And then I don't know if I'm the most excited about this or what, but this product has always sold out so fast. And this is the Luminous Powder in Do Me, D-E-W-M-E. So um, it's a little bit scandalous, but this is the packaging. So very similar to the highlighter, but this is like a frosted um, bottom of the loose powder container. So this, ooh, I'm so excited. So it has like a sifter 
and um, this is actually really easy to pull up the sticker. This powder is kind of like a finishing powder from what I can tell. Let me just sprinkle a little bit out. Um, I hope that it's not too deep for my skin, but we'll see. So this is, oh no, I think that'll be fine. This is the Luminous Powder, and I don't know if you can really see it. So um, let me start with that, I think, and then we can move on to the other products. All right, so I have a little bit. I'm going to put it like in the cap um, and start with like this much and see how this does. So I'm just taking my powder brush and I'm going to start like on the cheeks, I think. So this is supposed to give like a kind of airbrushed, luminous appearance. I don't know if I really noticed a difference. Let me see. I think it did give a little bit of a glow, which is really, really nice. It's not super crazy, which I'm so glad. I wasn't sure how like um, reflective this would be, but I think this is actually really nice. And it didn't like get too much out at once, which I like. So let me take a closer look. Yeah, it doesn't look like powdery or anything. I think it just kind of set your makeup. So obviously it's not gonna make your makeup matte, which I like glowy makeup, so I thought this product would be perfect. So I can't wait to use that some more. Since I have the blush and bronzer open, let's go into this now. And I am going to start with the top tan. And I've heard these powders are like super creamy and you're not getting a lot of fallout, which I really like. So let's see how this color is. Oh my gosh, this is perfect for fair skin. And it is just kind of magically, like perfectly going on my skin. Oof, that color is so nice. It's very subtle, but just very, perfect for my skin tone and I was impressed honestly with the color selection from very pale to pretty deep and so I'm excited that a lot of people will be able to find a color that suits them so wow this is really really pretty and it honestly doesn't even look like there's anything on the skin kind of like crazy it looks very natural oh my gosh that is beautiful it's not super super pigmented which I appreciate because as someone that's very pale <laughs> that can be a struggle sometimes when things are too pigmented so this is top tan and right now they only have them in like the duos but I would expect if this goes really well they will sell them individually so now i'm gonna go into lilac love which i have always loved like lavender lilac blushes one thing about this one is that the mirror doesn't always stay put but maybe you can see the blush has a little more kick up but it's not anything crazy this is such a sweet pink. It's very, very light. Of course, it's geared towards pale skin, but it's very brightening on my complexion. And it's not like glowy, but it's not flat either. I feel like that with the bronzer as well. It's not like very luminous but it's not flat so that is the blush and the bronzer i feel like they're just very skin like very very pretty like it is pretty impressive to me how 
natural they look on the skin. And I heard Jacqueline say that, but like you never know until you actually use it. So I'm just going to kind of buff out underneath my makeup or underneath my um, cheeks. And now let's go into the highlighter. So again, I got the shade Iced and they had the minis on Jaclyn's site, of course, and then also Ulta's website, but they only had the full sizes in store. I'm gonna take my Sonia Kashuk Small Highlighting Brush and go in here and see what kind of highlight effect this gives. Oh my god. That is gorgeous, obviously. This is for sure the right color for my skin tone. Oh man, <laughs> that is beautiful. So it's definitely a highlighted look. It could probably be more subtle, but this is gorgeous. Oh my god, now I see why these were so popular when she released them originally and I'm glad she came out with singles because I'm not like a highlight palette person because usually only the lightest shade works for me. But wow, that is stunning. And honestly, I feel like I could do with a little more blush. So I'm gonna go back in to Lilac Love and just like pop it right on the apple of my cheek and blend it back. That is so gorgeous. And usually what I like to do after I do all my cheek makeup is then to do a finishing powder. So I'm actually gonna take her, is this called mood lighting powder? It's just called luminous powder. I don't know why I keep thinking it's called mood light. Um, maybe the hourglass ones are called that, so maybe that's what I'm thinking of. I'm gonna take my same brush, go into the powder, and then swirl it in the lid and I like to go like around this whole area just kind of blend everything together I just always think that like kind of melts everything and makes it come together at the end wow this is stunning I am so happy with how this turned out and I'm happy with all three products. I would definitely say the highlighter kind of accentuates um, texture. I do have a little bit of texture on my cheeks, but that is honestly to be expected with highlighters. It's not any more than other highlighters that I have. And these cheek colors perfectly complement my skin. And I think it was described as like, fair to light neutral skin tones for this um, duo. And I think that's totally accurate because I have fair neutral skin and this works really, really well for me. I have no complaints at all. And I didn't get the really, really intense highlighters because that's just not like really my vibe, but this is truly a beautiful skin look and this is what I always like go for when I wear cheek products and I just can't stop staring at myself in the viewfinder and in the mirror and yeah this is just really really beautiful and I think this bronzer works really nicely for fair skin and the blush is definitely very light so if you have even slightly darker skin than me, so if you have like a light skin tone, this blush might really not show up on you. Um, I kind of had to go in and reapply it to make sure it really like came forward, but I think it's just a really nice natural look. And if you can find a duo that suits your skin tone, I think you'll be so pleased with it and I can't wait to keep using it. I just really wanted to have my first use with you guys and get this uh, video up for anyone that's interested in it. And I just think it is beautiful makeup. Here's more of an up close look. 
it really does just melt into the skin, which is weird to say for powder, but it really, really does. Wow. I'm impressed. And I've been rooting for Jacqueline. I've wanted her to come back with like a really, really successful launch and from lots of products selling out already and people being in line at Ulta waiting for the launch, I think it is sign of a really successful launch and I'm excited to see what else she does. I hope she comes out with like a reformulated lipstick line and I just think this is like the beginning of a, like kind of a restart for her company and I'm just so happy for her. I've watched her for so, so, so long going on probably eight or nine years and I just really hope for the best for her. So I can't wait to incorporate these into my everyday makeup routines. I am so happy with them and if you were kind of like me and worried about the luminous powder being too luminous, I don't think you have to worry about that. It's a very soft focused effect. It's not really like shiny or anything. It's very very like just yeah soft focused effect is the best way I can describe it not matte whatsoever so I love it and I can't wait to hear what you guys think about these colors are you getting these products did you wait in line this morning did you buy it online when it came out on Jacqueline's site or when it launched on Ulta's I think some products are still available and I'll link everything down below but um thank you guys so so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you very soon. Bye!